Hey there, Pats Nation. Welcome into Patriot Support. I know it's a somber Monday, but let's get into some rumors. Was Malcolm Butler benched for matchup reasons? That seems to be the only excuse that we've been given so far. So we're going to give this one four Lombardi trophies. There's no way that this is 100% true. So we're only going to give it four. But Matt Patricia and Bo Belichick have really stood behind this, that he didn't fit in the personnel packages. He only played one special team snap, which is weird because he only played one special team snap all season and played 98% of all defensive snaps and was the Patriots leader in defensive snaps as well. He says the Patriots gave up on him. I'm sure this story is only going to get more elaborate as the week goes on, but we have a couple different reasons as to why he might have been benched. But welcome to Patriots Report presented by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Harris Rubenstein, and Yes, I am a little bit somber as well. It's been kind of a rough Monday for every Patriots fan out there after losing the Super Bowl yesterday. But we're going to take you through some rumors and then start looking ahead at next season, including which players could be cut. But without further ado, let's get into rumor number two. And back to Malcolm Butler. Was he benched for possibly talking about his contract? This one, probably not as likely. We're only going to give this one two Lombardi trophies. This was a Reddit theory that maybe Butler went into this went into Super Bowl week telling Belichick, hey, if I perform well, I want to come back. I want this money, this, whatever. We know that Malcolm Butler's agent has also been on Belichick's bad side. And we also know that Malcolm Butler did fly to the Super Bowl late, but he was dealing with the flu. So there isn't anything official out there about this. It would be pretty scathing for Butler and his agent if he went into Super Bowl week wanting a specific contract and talking about it. So I'm going to put this one on the highly unlikely category. So it's Ted Wells level, only two Lombardi trophies. Let's check out that rumor meter for what these different trophies mean. If it's zero Lombardi trophies, it's fake news. We're on to Cincinnati. We're not talking about it. It's total malarkey. Two Lombardi trophies, it's Ted, well levels, Ted Wells level of truth. Just kind of like 5%, not really there. Three Lombardi trophies, we'll see. About a 50-50 shot. People are talking. Could definitely go either way. Four Lombardi trophies, it's pretty likely. This is going to happen. It hasn't been officially announced yet, but it's either happened or it was the likely reason for something. And then five Lombardi trophies, count the rings. We still got five championship every, championships, everyone. If they do have five Lombardi trophies, that means that it is 100% true. Let's get into number three. Was Butler benched for getting caught with weed? So this is a crazy story that was announced by pro football, or former pro football focus writer Joey Cartolano, who says he has connections with the Minneapolis Police Department and said that Malcolm Butler was caught after curfew with weed and then apparently exploded on Patriots coaches. Now, this is not being reported by anybody else except him, so we're giving this one three Lombardi trophies People are talking. So I don't think this is necessarily true. This hasn't been caught on by anyone else, but it would be an actual, you know, it would be a real reason for Belichick to bench Malcolm Butler in the Super Bowl. There isn't really a de facto reason as to why. So if this was true, this would be your reason. We obviously, like I said before, we know that he got to the Super Bowl late due to the flu. But again, this is only being reported by a one former pro football focus writer and this is the first report of potential misconduct that we have heard about Malcolm Butler so I'll put it this way Chandler Jones was caught smoking synthetic weed walked into a police station took his shirt off and started begging to police officers and he played the, played the next week if Malcolm Butler just got caught with possession of weed I don't know I still think it's a little bit shaky let's move on to number four are Brady and Belichick going to retire Fake news, everyone. They have both said that they're coming back in the 2018-2019 season. It was interesting. If you listened or followed Bill Belichick's morning conference call today, he kind of scoffed at this and said that he was sick of answering this question. He said that he's absolutely going to come back. But I do have a theory that I'll get into a couple different times. I think he might have retired if they won. I think Bill Belichick was thinking about retiring. We had the rumor as well that Josh McDaniels might come back, which we'll get to very soon. So if Belichick did win the Super Bowl, maybe we could have seen him retire. Who knows? And speaking of Josh McDaniels, let's get into that. Is Josh McDaniels going to return? We're only going to give this one two Lombardi trophies. Highly unlikely. Ted Wells level. So this is the full theory from, from Harris Rubenstein to you. I truly believe that if the Patriots won this Super Bowl, Belichick and Rob Gronkowski would have retired. Josh McDaniels becomes the head coach. 
Brian Flores becomes the defensive coordinator. Chad O'Shea becomes the offensive coordinator. And Brady continues on as the starting quarterback. But this has now been countered since they lost. Bob Kravitz of the Indy Star came out and said that they're having a press conference and that this isn't happening. I think we got this in the middle of the Super Bowl from Mike Florio. It was a completely random rumor out of absolutely nowhere. So it kind of came around during the part where the Patriots were starting to come back in the game. So could he have been the head coach of the Patriots if Belichick retired and they won? I don't know, but we're only going to give it two Lombardi trophies. We have no idea. Let's get into rumor number six. Is Greg Schiano going to be the next Patriots defensive coordinator? So this one's interesting. We know that Greg Schiano and Bill Belichick are very close friends. They have been for a while. They exchange notes. Belichick and uh, Schiano have talked to, about each other as some of the highest regarded coaches in all of football. And remember, after Schiano and the whole Tennessee crazy madness went on, Belichick was the first person to come to Shiano's defense. We're giving this one three Lombardi trophies. We'll see. People are talking. So there's a report that came out today from footballscoop.com that said that Shiano is going to be the next defensive coordinator. However, we had another report today from Bruce Feldman, the uh, one of the a huge college football writer, saying that they haven't officially offered Shiano the job yet and that they're unsure if Shiano would even take the job. But there is a thought on the Patriots side of things that they want to bring him on as a senior defensive assistant or definitely as a coach. But Brian Flores in general is supposed to get the job as the next defensive coordinator. Matt Patricia this morning was announced as the new Lions head coach. So we're going to give this one three Lombardi trophies. We'll see. Nothing is definitive yet. Let's get into rumor number seven. Is Rob Gronkowski going to retire? We're going to give this one three Lombardi trophies. So we started hearing some rumblings about this on Saturday before the Super Bowl. So let's take this into perspective for a second. Rob Gronkowski, massive player, one of the best tight ends in, in NFL history. Dealt with injuries his entire career. And then I think that concussion against the Jaguars completely spooked him. I think it turned him off. You know, if you looked at Rob Gronkowski in the first half of that football game, he was nowhere to be found. He was playing timid. He wasn't playing physical. I think he was spooked, and I think the concussion kind of threw some retirement ideas into his head. So he did not commit to playing next season during his post-game press conferences. It, this is a really interesting story to follow because what do the Patriots do if Rob Gronkowski retires? As you'll see in our five players the Patriots could cut in, uh, when we go over it in a little bit, I have two tight ends on that list. So if all of the starting tight ends on the Patriots leave, massive, massive hole at the tight end position. So keep an eye out for this. We'll probably know in the next couple weeks what Rob Gronkowski wants to do, but people are talking. We'll see. I think this one actually has some substance to it. Let's get into number eight. Tom Brady didn't shake hands with Nick Foles. We're giving this one five Lombardi trophies. He didn't actually do it. He stormed off the field because he was mad. He did congratulate Derek Barnett, the uh, Eagles rookie defensive lineman, after the game. There was a picture of them shaking hands. So this has happened before in the past. Cam Newton got absolutely roasted for this back in 2015. So a little bit of a double standard here, but this is true. Brady just kind of stormed off the field. It is what it is. Five Lombardi trophies. Let's get into number nine. Are the New England Patriots players turning on Bill Belichick? Three Lombardi trophies because Brandon Browner called him out on Instagram talking about Malcolm Butler's dedication. But here's the kicker. Multiple former Patriots like the post, including current Patriots linebacker Donta Hightower, who wasn't playing in the game because he's been on IR since about week four. So Browner says in the Instagram post that the decision split the locker room. So Brandon Browner, when he was on the Patriots, was a huge locker room guy for that team back in 2014. He was one of the more, I guess, leaders in that locker room. So he's still heavily connected with the team. And if Jamie Collins and Donta Hightower are liking the post, there has to be some substance to this. So we're giving this one three Lombardi trophies. Maybe the locker room is starting to turn on Bill Belichick a little bit, though I have to think that Devin McCourty and the rest of that defense will put people in line. If so, can't really see this becoming a big-time problem.